Hello. Hello. You're all very welcome to the Love Life Podcast. This is episode seven. Episode I'm seven. Anna. I'm Patrick. And this is a, a kind of a weird episode. This is kind of a bit... Um, In this week, we like do a jig- the... a jigsaw puzzle. This week, we decided, right, that it'd be a good idea to try and do the BuzzFeed purity test. I've never heard of that. I agreed to it. I'm sorry now I did, but you're going to see my answers now. You're going to see about half of it. We're going to save the second half of it for a future episode. For the bin. Because we, we're going to probably cut it off at the point where Anna's complete facial expression and com- entire demeanor changed yeah. to I'm very worried about this. Yeah. So we might save that for future episodes. That's going to be the second half of this episode. On the first half, we talk about... Um, we talk about our week and we talk about... Body hang-ups. Yeah, and, and how to get over a breakup. We yeah. Give some tips. Well, we're going to come back to that in more detail. Um, another time. Another time. Yeah. Because we've been here for about two hours now, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. It's um, very late at night right now. It is. This is my this is my happy place. I this love is. the middle of the night. I, this was the most fun I've had yeah. in a long time. Yeah. So, so I don't know how much it's up to producer Billy to decide how much of the BuzzFeed purity test next. <laughs> thank year. you to everybody. I think it's actually probably up to Anna. <laughs> yeah, it's up to me. So thank you to everybody who's been listening. Yeah. The numbers are absolutely blown us we away. We're delighted. Love you. Please rate and review and uh, hit us up, DM us, and all kind of slide into our DMs. Slide away. I am McLaughlin. Lovely. Enjoy. Phew! Okay, so uh, here we are, uh, this is episode 7, and um, I don't know, this is either going to be the shortest episode yet, or the longest episode okay. yet, because we haven't decided yet. Yeah. For those who don't know what we're talking about, Anna and I came in here with a plan tonight, right, to do um, the BuzzFeed purity test. Now, and I let- agreed to this. Yeah. But, but now I don't agree, and I've already done it. Anyone who has never seen or heard of the BuzzFeed purity test, Google it. Play it yourself, um, especially if you're at a house party and everyone's had a few drinks, pick someone to do the BuzzFeed Purity Test, it is great crack. But <laughs> We had great we, crack. We had great, had great I crack. haven't laughed so much, it, but here's the thing, we don't. We have to watch it back or listen to it back because we don't I know. don't feel it's fit for the public. I, I, I agree with you, right? But you but, don't care. You're like, No, sure I don't it. care. But I do see where you're coming from. Too. Like this, this was asking us of like, have we ever um, defecated on anyone during sex? Yeah. This sort of no, stuff. No, I haven't. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. It's a funny test. We, so we, 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 we let it in a bit at the end. Don't we let you hear a bit at the end. Oh well, yeah, we might like we might save this for like, I don't know what our 100th episode or something like that. We'll definitely put some of it in. Yeah. Some of it is definitely not safe for work or not safe for our fucking family exactly. here or our friends. Exactly. So we'll see. Uh, it, it's a little Easter egg and maybe we'll put little bits of it. Uh, like Christmas. It might be the Christmas special. I think we, for Christmas, if it doesn't, if it, if this does make the year, I think for Christmas we should bring in a bottle of Jameson and do it again. Oh, we, can we go drinking on the Christmas one? Then we'll, but we'll, we'll bring we'll drink in here. We'll do a do drunk that. podcast. I'm Christmas. already excited for Christmas. Is yes. that sad? No, it's not. Are you getting excited? Not really. Not yet. Too no, I, this is a bad year for me. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Obviously. Um, so, I just wanted to go back to something we were talking about last week on the podcast. Oh, I see someone has opened the notes on their phone. Oh, I've opened so the notes on my phone. Very so, I've been talking to a psychologist. Like a qualified one, okay, an honey? actual doctor. No, I am okay. <laughs> we went for a coffee, <laughs> okay. and um, I asked him about the predicament we had last week. That I was saying to you that girls get more emotionally involved after sex because a hormone is released that uh, you, you know makes them more emotionally involved, and he agrees with Patrick. He said that is bullshit. Yeah. I uh, see. I am not all me, me, me. I'll, I'll admit when I'm wrong. Honestly, so a this, doctor this of psychology. is a genuine reaction because I was told before this that uh, I was talking to a psychologist about this, and I was expecting this notes on the phone here yeah. to be actual proof that this no, is all true. No. No. So okay. he has spent some of his time and work looking into this, and he said the only thing he can come up with is that a girl, when she does decide to have sex with a guy, you know, if they're seeing each other mm. for a while. She I, I, is already emotionally invested mm-hmm. and to her the icing on the cake is the sex. Exactly. So then she lets go then and she's like, I'm all in. But he has he's the same way he was last Tuesday and he doesn't understand why there's such a big change. Okay. He may not change as much because maybe she just decides in her head okay. that she is now more emotionally attached. Kind of right. But it's not. Now, first of all, I want. I like to say I like to apologize if I was a little bit dismissive of that the last day. But you were right to be. I was wrong. 
I, I, okay, I'll tell you why I was like, okay, so four years of college has taught me that if you cite something from Google or Wikipedia as fact, you are failing your assignment, right? Yeah. And I was like, like very, like you and I were texting over this during the week. You sent me on the thing and it was from a, a website called she knows. <laughs> and I, I, so then I went to a real psychologist. She knows. Okay. Com makes uh, Cosmo look like the DSM five, right? And you were like, but it's on Google. Yeah. And I, as, as so well, exactly I what I said to you in the message, then, I fairness. could write an article. I have a website, so I could write an article on my website called Carlo People Have Ten Mickeys. Yeah, right? I know. And then say, Doctor Ivan E. Rection has seen. <laughs> Carlo people with 10 mickeys, so he can prove that this is no longer an anomaly, it's a medical fact. Uh, I put that out there knowing it's complete and utter cock, right? Someone Googles Carlo and mickeys and say, oh, see, oh, look, there's Carlo. Carlo has 10 mickeys. Carlo has 10 mickeys. Okay, And then says, enough. I saw it on Google, I, 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 and Carlo people with 10 mickeys. Listen, stop going on, I know, no, oh, you were right. <laughs> you were right, Patrick, was right, Ooh. okay? That's okay, it. Thank you, Mr. Psychologist. Thanks, Patrick, and thanks to our psychologist friend. No, because I was going to say, I, first of all, you have women who don't get emotionally attached after sex. Yeah, just so it didn't make sense to, to you next you were right. Yeah. And the next question I was going to ask, what if it's bad sex? Exactly, yeah. No, but seriously. Yeah. What if it's bad uh, sex? Under the theory that you automatically get more emotionally attached after sex, what if you shit in bed? What, what if you shit in bed? Yeah, what if the sex was terrible? Yeah, that's like, true. Like Liliana wrote a song about it. Yeah. What if it's ten seconds long? Yeah. Yeah, it would put you off actually, and you wouldn't get emotionally involved then. So, yeah, it's probably the good sex, it's the orgasms. But anyway, it's all a lot of shite. I was wrong, so I don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, what else? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I have notes here because. Yeah, do you know? You have a tip of the week this week. Oh, I have a tip of the week. So, right, what's the tip of the disappointed week? there was no tip of the week last night. I did me, ask. Me included. I did ask the guys to edit it out, but they were just mean and they didn't. So Who's we, they? You and Billy. I don't edit this thing. <laughs> Billy edit is our uh, chunk of my monologue. Billy is our um, producer, and I asked him to edit it out. <coughs> back Billy is to have blame a tip for the week. This BuzzFeed thing um, too, but he was asking the question But uh, my tip of the week this week would be date. Now you can argue with me if you like. I probably um, will. You probably will. But um, my tip of the week this week, I had a good long think about it. And I'm trying to, I suppose, practice what I preach a little bit, but is date passively. Okay? Kind of date. Don't make an event out of a date. Girls seem to do that. So this is more to the girls. Now, I'm not sure maybe guys do this too. But I was talking to this guy. He's a, an American living in Ireland now. And he was explaining to me the difference between dating in Ireland and dating in New York, for example. Okay. Was like a girl in New York, you could be chatting to her on Tinder and she'd be like, oh, hey, yeah, what are you doing in 10 minutes? And go for a coffee. And it's done and it's mm. over. And I feel like you set yourself self up for disappointment when you make an event out of it. So you're like, next Friday night, our first date, me and Johnny that I've never met, I've only met her on Tinder, are meeting up and I'm booking my hair for two o'clock that day and I'm getting my spray tan done on Thursday night. And I'm, so you already have built up a big thing. Whereas like, I, what I feel lately anyway, the best thing to do is like, yeah, I have a, say for me would be maybe to say, oh yeah, I have a gig in town. Uh, I'm playing in Smith's at 10, so I'll meet you at 9 for a quick coffee there while I'm dressed and ready to go to my gig. I'll, I'll kind of squeeze it in there. Not in a bad way, but in a kind of, it's happened so quick, it's done and dusted. You don't have time to get very stressed about it, you don't have... Why would you be getting stressed about it? Because dating is quite stressful, especially first dates. A lot of people get well, I mean, I'm very that, stressed but... about them. So uh, this is kind of, I think just date a little bit more and kind of just date more lightly. Don't don't look into it too much and don't have massive expectations. Don't get your hair done, your spray tan. You don't look well. If you're getting a spray tan done anyway on a Thursday, grand. But I think it's too much. A lot of these tips and a lot of this stuff kind of seems to be like protecting yourself and like not being vulnerable and, and like, you know, not putting yourself out there. Now, in one sense, I, we keep coming at the whole rejection thing. Yeah. So like from that point of view, if, if you take rejection really, really badly, then yeah, maybe you're, that, that is a fair comment. But I don't know, it just seems very kind of, like everything is about make, not showing weakness, not showing vulnerability, not giving up no, the power. No, it's not not showing vulnerability, not showing weakness. It's just, 
I have a lot of girlfriends. I, I, I know that they invest a lot in something that isn't even happening, isn't even real yet, you know? Mm. And make such a song and dance that if you cancelled, say me and you were meeting for a date next week and you cancelled and then in, in my head I'd get upset about that and I, I had my hair booked and I had my, you know, instead of just, if I happen to be, look I'm in town Wednesday night anyway, I'll meet you for an hour before that and just swing in, swing by, do that and continue with life and don't but make it, such it an ordeal. it all seems to be like protecting yourself from getting emotionally invested in Yeah, it. because a lot of people waste a lot of time being emotionally invested in in people that they don't actually have any emotional connection with yet. They just make it up in their heads by by making an event out of a date. I don't think a date needs to be as big an event as us Irish girls oh, no, I don't make think it. it. Does, to be yeah. honest. Uh, a lot of us Irish girls do make it an event and I'm thinking mm -hmm. the way to go is not make it such an event. Just go for it. Okay. Yeah. I won't argue with that. Okay. That's my tip of the week. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's go back to feedback. Uh, we briefly, before we started our little social experiment there earlier on, we were talking about feedback. Have you any more feedback from the um, last couple of days? Well, yeah, I had said to you that um, about the, the heartbreak and stuff, people were just looking for kind of advice. There was one girl on to me who was very heartbroken and she was wondering, had you any tips to help her? I tell you what, um, I I do, but I I don't think I could do it justice in like thirty seconds or two minutes. Any small short tips, I suppose, because she is heartbroken right now. So, if you had like three main things that you, and we'll do a whole episode on it another time. Um, I'd like to know more about why she's so heartbroken because it comes back to what we were talking about last week. Like, I I I've had my heart broken because the person rejected me. And I felt rejected as a human. I felt it was an indictment of my own self-esteem. Okay. Um, and like, but you, on the other hand, you've broken up with people, so you never felt that real heartbreak. Yeah, that's why she was asking me to ask you. Okay. Yeah. So. So, would there be anything? Did you go to the gym? What helped you? Did anything in particular help? Mindset. You've done. You know, you have a degree okay. in. Okay. I psychology I can tell you the answer whatever. is yes, right? But. I'm kind of in a unique position with that. There was, like, and I, I, like I said, I was heartbroken, um, and like I couldn't sleep one night, so I had to sit up in bed and counsel myself. Okay. Now, not everyone's going to be able to do that. Yeah. I actually had to have a conversation where I would ask myself a question, and then I would think and give an answer to the question to stop the, from my own peace of mind. Now, not everyone can do that. Yeah. Maybe it's worth but if trying. she could try that, yeah. I had to like. To do a cost benefit analysis of the whole situation and say, okay, what happened? Why did it happen? What are the good points that you can take out of this? Okay. The positives. Yeah, and I had to do that. I had to sit up in bed one night and do that. But I'm a trained, I'm a trained counselor. So, so I don't know. If would you recommend someone seeing someone yeah, if they're absolutely, heartbroken? Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. That, um, you've asked for my main tip. Well, you've asked for three, but that would okay. be my main one. would be if you are going through it, like you, it does take time, like do you know what I mean? And you're gonna like if there's gonna be bumps in the road. You're gonna see a picture of them. You're gonna see that that person might end up with someone else, and that's gonna that's gonna kill you. It's yeah. gonna knock you back and stuff like that. But it's a it's a journey. You will. It will pass. You, it, it will pass. It will. You will get there. You'll always have a little bit of a feeling for them, but like it will flicker down to yeah. very small things. Before you know it. But if you if it is a particularly bad breakup, yeah. if you like if you, it's affecting your day to day life, if you can't sleep, if you can't eat, if you can't go to work or stuff like that. Get help. Talk to a counsellor. Yeah. Absolutely talk to a okay. counsellor. Fair enough, that's uh, all. Because I did at yeah. the time too. I and went to we, a counselor. Yeah, we just want people to know that, that is perfectly okay and it's a good thing to do. I Certainly. find talking is brilliant. You know? I, okay, as I said, I am I'm a, a qualified counsellor. So I am obviously gonna advocate people talking to counsellors. Yeah. Um like there and in here in Limerick and in Ireland there are some fantastic counsellors that can really help people and there's actually a, no, a great podcast is um, it's also a Limerick podcast is uh, Blind Boy brilliant Blind Boy tips. did the same course as I did and Blind Boy's brother in uh, like I, I won't name, name any names here because I'm not going to name Blind Boy's real <laughs> name because I'm sure if he wanted that out there he would but Blind Boy's brother, I was actually speaking to him on the phone yeah. today yeah. for advice yeah. that I needed to pass on to a friend of mine. Okay. Blind Boy's brother is one of the best counsellors 
in Limerick. Yeah. Right? He was uh, my lecturer in college. Really? I look up to that man so much. Yeah. And Blind Boy, if you're it's, listening to this, your brother brilliant. is an absolute gem mm -hmm. of a man and I have so much admiration for mm -hmm. him. So, uh, and I've learned so much from him. I've learned so much from his podcast, from Blind Boy's podcast. Someone asked me for uh, advice this morning on a matter, uh, like, uh, like a counselling matter. Yeah. And like I told them I'm going to ring two people. So I rang Blind Boy's brother and I rang my former counsellor to get advice to give back to this person. Yeah. And I value their opinion yeah. so much. Yeah. Um, well, I, have you, do you listen to Blind Boy? the podcast no I don't I do and I he did three episodes just the last three weeks on CBT excellent just yeah. really good I really enjoyed it and I, I would believe the, that and the, the um, psychologist knowledge. friend of mine I asked him would he ever listen and just to see like what he thought mm. and he said absolutely brilliant he thought it was excellent I mean there's 250,000 people a week listening to Blind Boy massive audiences mm -hmm. and he's helping so many people so I'd recommend it you know Fantastic. maybe CBT is not for everybody but I just thought it was very interesting very good so yeah thanks to, i have i'm just going to check my notes here because i had a few things so that was did that someone girl. actually ask you about someone uh, oh yeah someone actually asked did me they about actually ask me about it yeah okay what is the difference between dating and seeing someone or is there a difference um, we can both answer this i would say dating is um a level above seeing someone seeing someone oh no I would have talked the other way around. So this is an interesting chat. But dating, I like date, the term dating. As far as the ir Irish lexicon has only become a thing, I think, in the last few years. Okay. Because like, you're shifting someone. Yeah. You're meeting someone. Yeah. You're seeing someone. You're going out with someone. That would be the. So there isn't a dating. A dating. If is I say of, I'm dating I, I think, at the moment, I, I feel that could be I'm dating a few people. Okay. That's what I feel. I don't know. And then if I'm seeing someone, I feel it's a little bit more exclusive. Okay, well maybe you're but right. But maybe then we haven't had the chat. That's what I feel. I, so maybe I, we're not answering the back. question right. I just think I think of dating as a, an Americanized term, and like, so like I'm going back to those Irish terms. But like, so if I'm saying I'm dating someone, that yeah. means we're kind of like, I'm nearly almost saying she's my girlfriend. Okay. And to if me, you're but, seeing someone. Yeah. It, we haven't had the chat. You haven't had the chat. That's what I would okay. say. Okay, so you go from seeing someone That's to being in my in head. No, no, I'm open to contradiction on all yeah. of this. Program. And can I ask you a question as well? I'm just interested. How long have you been seeing someone? So, well, I know there's no normal time, but like, have you been seeing someone for six months and then started a relationship or a year or what's what's your average yourself? <sighs> I couldn't give you an answer to that. Like, there's like. Have you, you could know after two weeks, you yeah. know, or you could like it could take six months, or you could know after three months that you're wasting your time, or you know, yeah. there's no like, there's no there exact. is no rules there, and if there is, then you have like weird thing notions in your head that like you should yeah. not have because there's no rules to this. You either it's either you either feel it or you don't. Yeah. Okay, I have another one now for you, Patrick. This was from a girl. I'm getting all the feedback this week. Okay. Bodies. Oh, I wanted to ask. Do bodies really matter that much? So, you know. I, I, yeah. yeah. Okay. From what uh, from what point of view? Like, you know, would be maybe if the girl was turning off the light, she didn't want you to see. Like, do you know if you? That's if, what I was gonna if ask. If you weren't so perfect, but like, I, I know everyone's different what they're attracted to. Mm. But I'll be honest, I have had. So they're asking. So we might as well both answer. Like, I have been way more attracted to a guy with a belly than I have been to a guy with a six pack because I have, that's not my general, like I don't, I don't like bellies more than six packs, but say if I compare two guys that I've been seeing, one who was a bit overweight and one who had a, a six pack, I was more attracted to the one that was a bit overweight because I was attracted to other things yeah. about them. So to me, bodies don't exactly matter. Yeah, it's nice if you have a six pack, that's great if it goes along with everything else, but I prefer everything else over the six pack. Okay. In, okay, I'm gonna try and answer this as as honestly as possible because this is actually got something I was gonna come back to in um, from the role play. I was gonna ask you. Yeah. Okay, so if I really like a girl, if she doesn't have to have like a fucking Instagram body, right? Okay. She really doesn't. If I have feelings for her, yeah. Like it's not gonna matter as much as like if so, like you know, obviously you strip someone off naked and like mm, nice, ooh yeah. But if you have feelings for the person, I don't think it matters as much. Now, what I was gonna, because what I was gonna ask um, 
in our little role play thing. Because I like I've had the experience of girls. I tell you what's really hot, right? Nice. I tell you what's Confidence. really hot. Confidence. But yeah. a girl doesn't give a fuck. She might not have a perfect body, but she doesn't give a fuck. That's really, really is hot. Is that really hot? Really hot. That, that oh is really God, hot. Oh my God, yeah. And it, like, yeah. You, you don't have to have the perfect bum or perfect boobs or a six pack or a flat tummy if or anything like that. She doesn't give a fuck about the light on and walking across. Walking but across the room. She could have no that is body. so fucking sexy. Okay. Right? There you go, girls. I'm, I'm telling you. Shake that I'm serious. Flag. Fuck it. That's what they but want. That confidence is so fucking sexy. Okay. It really is. And okay. like I've had this conversation with my guy friends as well, and yeah. we all agree. Like one of my friends, I shouldn't tell the story. I won't name any names, but like he he went out with a girl who was just like, and she didn't have a perfect body, but she had so such body confidence, and she was like she had like, she rocked it, and like she pissed on him in the shower once just to fucking give him a laugh. Like so, most girls would think that was just disgusting, and yeah. like, most guys would be like, oh. But she was so confident, she was so funny, he thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, there wasn't so it's a all about it was a owning it. Thing. Just own that belly and own those boobs and own that <laughs> bit of set. Like I, I have like cellulite on my ass and you know, all girls do have a bit of that. But like, I years ago would have been like, oh my God, I don't want anyone to see the backs like, I, of my legs. Now I'm older, I really wouldn't give a shit. You know, but I, I wrote, I, I, I hear plug, I wrote a blog about this a few weeks ago, yeah. about like how masculinity has changed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Now, because we live in the Love Island generation. Yeah. So like young guys are under so much pressure to like have the six packs to like, look like, it's the Instagram generation too, you know, uh, like if you're going on holidays, you're all, all you're at, you have anxiety about the holiday photos because you have to have a six pack. Yeah. Do you mean like do you think our fathers give a shit when they're going on holidays? Shit. Like back in those days, like the 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 idols were like fucking what? Right, uh, Sean Connery, <laughs> Rod Stewart, Harrison Ford. These guys, like the yeah. the the guys yeah. with the big muscles, were like Sh Sylvester Sloan, Aaron Schwarzenegger. Yeah. They were kind of the they were they were they their own really separate sexy. genre. Yeah. Now it's like everyone has to have be ripped. Justin Bieber has to have a six pack. You know, everyone along with everything, you have to have a six pack. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I think that's kind of wrong. But it's so this stressful. the pressure that on has been on women. Forever is yeah. now on guys it's as well, guys, yeah. and like, it shouldn't be just like be confident. Yeah, right? I agree you know with I mean? Patrick. You, 100%. you don't, Girls don't have to look like a, a Photoshop Instagram photo. I've been with guys that have less confidence with their six packs, and oh, like, and then yeah, you're right. It's a you, turn off, you know. Like my favorite sexual experience, like the best night I ever had with a girl, right? And I'm not naming any names, right? But I, um, I walked her home one night, not expecting anything at all to happen, genuinely, right? And like, I had something to do the next day, so I, I was thinking, I'm just going to make sure she gets home safe, and then I'm out of there. Walked her home. When we got to her house, she said, do you want a cup of tea? I've heard the story, yeah. You have? Yeah. She's like, do you want a cup it of tea? It wasn't me. It wasn't you? No. Uh, and I was like, yeah, go on, sure, I'll have, or a, was cup it? I'll have a cup of tea, because I, I had to walk <laughs> all the way home. It wasn't Anna. <laughs> Um, so I went into the kitchen and put on the kettle and she went into her ensuite, into her room, into her ensuite. So I bought, I put the kettle on and sat down on the couch and she walked out of her room completely naked. Like not a stitch. Like it was like, like the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what I always compare it to because that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. And like. I was just like she was confident enough to know that you were not going to say no. That this she was confident enough to yeah. walk out of yeah. her room without a stitch on her. And was that very attractive? Oh my god! Yeah. And then she just came over and she just like okay, climbed okay, up okay, 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 leave, okay, okay, okay. We'll okay. Leave it there. But <laughs> that I, I when I am old and grey, I will I'd still remember that night because that was just the sexiest thing ever, and it was the confidence to just fucking walk out of her room completely naked. Yeah. Now look, confidence is key. Exactly, yeah. and you don't have to have a perfect body, but if you if you're confident, it's it's sexy. It's very sexy. Yeah, and I agree with you with the guys as well. And I honestly, guys, don't be too caught up in it or worried about it. if you're turning off the light or something because you feel like you you don't have a perfect body. That's actually less attractive than if you just don't have a perfect body yeah. and you don't give a shit. But I, and, I, I, and maybe we have to be fair to the people who are self-conscious and like yeah. who have to who don't want to take their shirt off, or don't want to take their bra off, or don't want to take their top off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, we understand that. Do you know what I mean? But just but maybe try and own it more if you can. It's exactly. It's, it's all positive. You don't have to yeah. look like the cast of Love Island. No. 
but just rock it. Fucking go for just it. Just rock it. That's brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, that was another question that was asked to so that's me. What, I was actually going to bring that up myself because oh, of cool. the whole our little thing. Yeah. Um, in in the role play where like we had sex. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. Like we just we went for it and we were on the couch and stuff like that and we just started stripping off and yeah. stuff like that. I was going to ask, would like would you get naked there? As in, like, do you, that's how I was going to bring that into it. Do you have any of those body confidence issues, or do you give a shit? Oh, like, personally. You just, yeah, pers well, like, Anna in, 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 in the role play, if you want. But, like, yeah. does it matter? No. No? No. You're going to walk around the house, walk past me in the, in the nip. Fair fucks. I mean, yeah. Maybe not ten years ago, but no, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Focus. Be Focus. Focus. Be grand. Yeah. Um, anyway... Do you want to go back into the role play for a few minutes before we go? Because I think people love this role play, so we better tip in a small little bit. Tip in a small little bit. Stop with the sexual innuendo. I didn't say anything. He knows how I love sexual innuendo. Go back to episode. Is it episode four? We talk about sexual you know innuendo. I think we shouldn't. We shouldn't do the role. We should play. do the role play this week because we like. We have gone about two hours when you include everything in, and I think we yeah, should. But we're going to edit a lot of that out. Well, I think we should put in a little bit of it. Maybe the first yeah, we'll twenty just minutes do. of it. Because we will put some of that funny stuff. Maybe in. someday you'll hear the rest of it. But we're going to like uh, the, the, the segue to this um, out of this, and we'll go back to the role play next week because um, I know people love the role play and stuff like. That. But honestly, this thing. I've never laughed so much. The test. We won't put in some of the bad stuff maybe straight away. We might save it for like a special... Special occasion. Our, Christmas. Exactly, yeah. This will be your Christmas present okay. to hear us talk so, about. So, no, um, no role play this... Someone's bummed. Stop. <laughs> no role play this week. But, no, um, we'll come back to the role we'll play. Come back right to on cue, week. producer Billy walks in. Yeah. Thank you so much to everybody so. who has been listening so far. We're actually yeah. blown away with the amount of you that are listening. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe this, and this, if, comment yeah. and DM us and O'Connor26. I am McLaughney. Yeah. I am. Oh, you are. Okay. Thank you very much and good night. Goodbye, you. The last episode, I uh, like, I got so much feedback. And for the first time, like, uh, usually the feedback I've been getting anyway has all been like, I love it, it's great, I love it. This is the first time I kind of got some, like, not entirely positive feedback. Now, yes. so I suppose there's a couple of things, some funny things. First of all, um, someone asked, how can an Irishman wear a rose on his chest? I don't hate English people, and I like that brand, so I have no problem wearing a rose in my dress. Okay. It's David Beckham's fashion brand, Kent and Carol. Oh, sorry, right. I didn't realise. That's what you were wearing in the last yeah, episode. Yeah, sorry. Up the ran. But you know what I, I think is funny? English people. What? what I think might be happening here, you see, uh, well, for me anyway, I'd be used to mostly my friends following me on Instagram, and yeah. like, it's all positive because it's people you know mm. so now in this podcast which is wonderful it's what we wanted we have thousands of listeners we and they don't do. all know us and they have an opinion yeah I and know. they have oh. more of an opinion than they would if there were friends all tell us we're great and that's what's going to happen when oh, no my friends. friends don't tell me uh, <laughs> at all but for me whereas i'm getting feedback mixed good bad and people with opinions and strong opinions because I suppose I'm not their friend. They don't know us. They're mm. just listeners, and they they feel entitled to it. And thank you now those, to those all the new listeners, and thank are, you for your feedback. There are people who think that there's actually something going on between the two of us, and that on episode six we were having a real fight. Yeah. No, we weren't having a real fight, mm. and there isn't anything going on between us in real life. No. But um, I suppose we are just kind of. Do you know what I think? I'm going to be very, very, very honest here, right? Okay. Because I had, I, I did think about this because I had, I, uh, you're, you're smiling here, but I'm, I'm actually, I'm not. This isn't a curveball or anything like that. Okay. Do you know the whole thing in the, in the role play of like, we'll say that, you know, you kind of, what you don't know, what hurt, won't hurt you. Yeah. I did this, but I like, you know, it's, that's a separate issue. All this stuff. That I think is triggering some things that happened in a, in a former relationship of mine just be honest and I think and a very very and close got, I think a very very close annoyed. friend of mine noticed that and yeah. called that yeah you felt it felt like you were in bad form or something it's, not, it, I, it's just I suppose that situation even though we're doing this role play and it's all pretend and everything like that I think real feelings were getting triggered because of that and they do yeah, last yeah. week I was a little bit upset over something that was going on in my own personal life and it probably came out a bit, a bit yeah. as well. So the two of us but we were not in the best of form we, last week. But 
But it was a Sunday morning and I was out the night before yeah. and I probably played a part of it. It too. is, and it is what it is. I mean, this is just a piece of sound recorded once a week and you're going to get the real us, some of the real us. Yeah. It can't be fake. Well, that's Most that, of the time I, we're happy, but the last Sunday we weren't that happy and it I came mean, across. I, I don't, like, and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because I remember no. I said to you very early uh, the day that it came out, like I'm getting some like really kind of bad feedback here but then as the day went on you like and you said it yourself you were getting great feedback yeah and overnight this thing is probably the episode six is probably the most listened to episode we've done yet yeah it's like we're delighted with all oh, the geez. new listeners well, yeah and, uh, we were just talking you. about it before we came on yeah. here it's like it's amazing yeah we're this thing is just surprised. getting bigger and bigger and bigger so <laughs> yeah but we're trying to be real here we're trying to be and we are so. real people with real feelings we have up days exactly. we have down days and uh yeah, but I'm having a, an update today. <laughs> Today's a good day. Good. So am I. Um, so yeah, so there were just a couple of things. So like, I, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, admit that, and like that, that I think that's what's happening there. Yeah. Is that that situation, as in like uh, someone sleeping with other people mm. and kind of banking on the fact that they're. Did I never find that out? That touched a nerve. It did, yeah. yeah. I think it did. Well, that's that good. was a real thing that's for real. me. Not that so it's good that that happened to you. But obviously not, but I think that's I, what's going I, on The there. feedback I got on the last episode as well was like, oh my God, that was a very real conversation. I mean, we even went into like yeah. my past and, you know, me dating someone with children. You could hear it in my voice. Yeah. You know, because I didn't expect that to come up. But, mm. you know, we don't get into too personal here, but we have to be... A little bit personal. And, yeah, and yeah, I don't last think that's week there was loads of emotions. Thing. So, exactly. uh, might keep it lighter this week. You have some sort of a little test for me. <laughs> well, we're both going to do a test together. Or oh, we're both doing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Producer Billy is uh, is here with us. And Billy's Billy, camera shy. We're going to do something called the Buzzfeed Purity Test. Now, um, we'll introduce Billy. Billy is uh, producing the podcast yeah. since day one. He's uh, what a man. Oh, he's absolute great man. hero. Say hello, um, Billy. He's, he's too good looking, that's why he doesn't he's want to. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, see, <laughs> good looking. Man. So, Billy, Billy is, is going to throw the questions at us. Now, I've, I, I've done this before, and it's very, very funny, especially if you're at a house party and everyone's drunk and you like you pick out someone to do this. Okay, let's uh, see how funny it is now, when we're all sober in Fit 100. Exactly. We, yeah, I, see I, if it works. Just to be fair, because this starts out very, very tame, but it gets a lot weirder and funnier as it goes along. Okay. I'm going to give you three passes, and I'm going to have three passes as well. Okay. Now, if there's a funny story behind an answer, break in and tell us the funny story. Okay. And vice versa. I'm shit for funny stories, but I'll try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So, Billy, <coughs> fire away whenever you're ready, and we'll both try to answer these questions. Question number one. So, have you ever had a crush? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, question number two. Have you ever hugged someone? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever held someone's hand? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever kissed someone on the cheek or been kissed on the cheek? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been on a date? Yeah. Yes. Too many. Have you dated someone exclusively? Yes. Yeah. Have you created an online dating profile? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I actually, <laughs> uh, just to throw it out there, okay. there is an online dating profile of me all my pictures and it's not me so i'm being catfished really yeah and this has been going on for a few months and it's been reported and it's come back and yesterday i got more so it's a 29 year old anna o'connor and it's she's just looking for a bit of fun <laughs> and i'm not 29 and i'm not just looking for a bit of fun so it's not me if you think and also this profile is actually just uh, it's me, it's supposedly me, and it's looking for girls. So it's a, you know. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, so a few girls okay. have, a few girls have me messaged me on Facebook and stuff, asking was it me? And how I actually found out was going into the doctor's one day. The receptionist, I was like, hello, yeah, Anna O'Connor is the name. And she was like, I know. So the receptionist and me had matched and chatted on. The receptionist and you and fake you. And fake me. Oh. So she then. When I left she the doctor's like, surgery, she contacted me. She said, I knew that when you came in, you didn't know me. And she said, I realized then. But this fake profile is actually trying to meet girls. And I just worry about who this person is because it isn't me. It could be weird. any weirdo. So anyway, that's... Uh, right. yeah, but I do have real dating profiles on Bumble and Tinder. Yeah. But there I is one. I'm plenty of fish. It's not me. I'm not I, ha I fish. have been on Tinder, but I'm not on anything yeah. right now. So if there's a me on any of those, it's, a it's not me. Yeah. So there we okay. go. 
that's what's going on. Go ahead, it takes us to the next question. Have you ever downloaded a dating app? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you been on a date with someone you met online? Yeah. Yeah. Have you kissed someone you met online? Yeah. Yeah. Have you slow danced? Yes. Yeah. Never, sure. I don't know if it's slow. Have you ever played doctor? I have no idea. As, what as a child, like, I'd say, like. I don't think it's as a child, Anna, but. Uh, um, yeah, probably I've played doctor. Well, you're a dental hygienist, so. Uh, I don't know. Go on, anyway. No, I don't think I have. You're overqualifying me there, but I'll take it. Okay. Have you ever kissed someone on the mouth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> have you ever kissed someone with tongue? Yes. Yes. Have you made out with more made out for more than five minutes? Yes. Yeah. I hope we can hear Billy. Billy talk up there in case. I think we can, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Give Billy the mic. Have you ever copped a f have you ever been felt up? Yeah. Yeah. And I just felt me up. Yeah, sorry. Have you ever been felt up under the shirt? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not 12. Have you ever got No, I don't think I've ever been tapped, but uh, okay. you probably have. <laughs> have you ever gotten a hickey? Yeah. Yeah, like last year someone gave me a hickey. How ridiculous. I was like, what the hell? Anyway. Go on. <laughs> like that in your have you ever given a hickey? Yeah. Yeah. It's stupid, but yeah. Have you ever made out in a car? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made out in a movie theater? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever made out in public or in front of other people? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever kissed someone whose last name you didn't know? Oh, yeah. accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever kissed someone whose first name you didn't know? Yeah, I'd say so. Still don't know it. <laughs> Have you ever flirted with a total stranger? Yeah. Yeah. Just call me. Retail. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever flirted with someone you knew was taken? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, this is it. <laughs> Have you ever flirted with someone at work? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever flirted with your boss? Yes. I was working for him. From you went out with your boss. Yeah. So yeah, you <laughs> Have you ever flirted with someone you're related to? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the opposite happen to me. What? <laughs> oh, okay, break. We all just talk. Oh, come on. Hold on. Can't can't drop, you can't can't drop drop I'm only joking. Everyone has that uncle, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, no. Is there a story there? No, okay, there's no right, story. Go okay, go on. Jesus. Have you ever kissed someone you knew was taken? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever kissed your boss or kissed someone who reports to you? I have. You? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. You would, you would go living with your boss, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Have you ever kissed <laughs> someone who was in a monogamous relationship? Yes. But they weren't really in a monogamous relationship if they kissed Because of you. you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. I have too, yeah. Yes. Have terrible you ever fucking people. Sorry. Have you ever kissed someone else Don't. while you were in a monogamous re relationship? Oh, years ago, I have. No, in a monogamous relationship, no. Fair play too. Thank you. No, I know you haven't, you're so good like that. <laughs> I've done lots of bad shit, but you're going to find out about he's it. He's done bad shit, but not when he's going out with someone. No, I've, I'm very black and white about that. Go on. Go on. Have you ever shared a bed with someone you were attracted to? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Have you ever told someone you loved them? Yeah. Yes. Have you told someone you loved them when you didn't mean it? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you tell them you loved them if you didn't mean it? I loved them in the beginning. I fell out of love with them, but I would have kept saying I love you for another year and a half before I uh, ended. Okay. Okay, makes sense? Yeah. Go on. Have you kissed more than one person in the same week? Yeah. Yeah. In the same day? Yeah. Yeah. Have you played fo footsie with someone you liked? It's fucking oh, yeah. every week here. This is what you can see. It's because I'm down under, here <laughs> under the chair here. <laughs> Have you ever made out with someone and then slept over? Yeah. Yeah. Have you touched someone's 
downstairs area over there close. Oh, what age is this for? <laughs> You're not going to say that in a minute. Yes. yes. Yeah. Downstairs area, it's a great spot. You're gonna, you're gonna think. Go on. Have you touched someone's privates under their clothes? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm being interviewed by a guard or something. <laughs> <laughs> Had your privates touched by someone? Yeah, yeah Billy. <laughs> Texted you're someone. Billy? <laughs> Billy touched your privates. <laughs> Oh, oh Billy's too young. He's first the guy with player, and now Billy. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, texted someone to texted someone a selfie to flirt with them. Yes. Yeah. Send someone a selfie or a photo when you're in a seductive pose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing, Patrick? Your seductive pose. What's a seductive? <laughs> on. What's a seductive pose to you? I'm not. Saying. Well, can I ask you? Um, like you can actually when we're on this subject. Right. Would you know girls that flirt? on uh, Snapchat, how far would they go? Even Billy, you can throw your two pins in here. So would, if a girl sent you a picture of her and her bra, would that be fairly normal on Snapchat? Or would that be abnormal on Snapchat? A naked oh, picture on Snapchat? It's normal, like, it depends on the girl. Like, there's, like, Jesus, uh, like, I've gotten very, uh, the extremes very, very quickly, as in like, there was a girl last year when like the, the big storm was going on. There was a girl who added me on Snapchat. She was um, quite. Uh, no, I just uh, in a in a, in a, over the course of a day it went from how are you, how are you to her vagina. Her vagina. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Sure, it was hers. Oh, Billy, thrown in a curveball there. <laughs> 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 was it yours, Billy? I don't know. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever sent someone a photo where you're in underwear? Yeah. Yeah. Send it to them all the time. We get no reply. Yeah. Send someone oh. a photo where you're totally naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we, I think we need to cut in here again. Yeah. Miss, I hate yeah, Snapchat. It was my boyfriend. Okay, fair enough. I was also in a relationship. Yeah. Go on. Let someone else take sexy photos of you. Yeah. My boyfriend. <sighs> Not, no, uh, someone a took a video of me like dancing naked and then like, and it, it wasn't supposed, like, so I was just like getting up and like I was dancing around the room and she made a video of me and then when it went sour she threatened to put the video on the internet. Ooh! Yeah, so. That's against the law, I think. I think it is, but yeah. it didn't happen. Any sex tapes? Billy? You asking Billy? Has he any sex tapes? I think we'll get to that. Go on, Billy. Oh, that's on it. All oh, right, okay. Taking sexy pictures of someone? No, yeah. not really, no, I don't think so. Video chatted with someone you liked? Yeah. yeah. Video chatted in any state of undress? Yeah. Yeah. Masturbated on video chat? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It was my boyfriend! Uh huh. <laughs> Sent a flirty text message? Yeah! <laughs> We're going back right today. Sent an overtly sexual text message? Yeah, probably not. Yes, yes, yes. Had an entire sexting conversation? Yeah. Yeah. Masturbated while sexting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had a sexy conversation over the phone? Yeah. What? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Had phone sex? Yeah. Yeah. Had a flirtatious round of G chats? Don't know what that what is. What the fuck are G chats? Nope. I don't know. It says G chats. G chats. Uh, no. Uh, skip. skip that one. Yeah. That's not one of our skips. No. Talked about explicit sex over G chat. Um, we don't know what that is. We don't know so. what G chat is. If anyone knows, they can let us know. Yeah, fit. Fill us in. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite <laughs> uh, someone's tweet to flirt with them? Yeah, you'd be um, like liking things. Tweet, to Instagram flirt. photo, yeah. You're always liking. Yeah, but I like that's not flirting. Uh, yeah. I have this weird thing about uh, Instagram, right? You like everything, don't you? Unless it's something that really pisses me off or offends me or I don't like the person. Yeah. I generally do because I believe <clears throat> someone put something up, right? 
like they're putting themselves out there and like so don't scroll past it like what is the harm of giving a like and people give out to me for that they're like oh, you just give your likes away they mean nothing but like ah, stop why like away why spread the love exactly yeah. that's how i uh, spread the how love. i believe it i will like I most I like things everything. in my feed because yeah. it's just positive reinforcement yeah, positive what's wrong reinforcement, with it? exactly um oh yeah and then now that we're on this subject um I know girls that would be upset when their boyfriend likes pictures of other girls on mm. Instagram. What do you think of that? <sighs> do you think it means anything? If you're going out with someone you care about him and then some hot bird just put up a really hot photo uh, and he likes it, does that mean anything? It depends, I suppose. If it was just a random person, a random hot fella that my girlfriend liked a photo of, I wouldn't really be like worrying about it if there was like if I knew the fella and she knew I didn't like the fella or that she was previously with the fella there was then you're connection. wondering why she's doing it that I think there's two kind of different yeah like I, I would have in the past have got upset over things like that and yeah. now that I'm single I'm like what the hell was I, I know people who over? would kill their boyfriends if they like the photo of like another girl or a girl yeah. bum or yeah. any of that sort of thing but Instagram your Instagram but I'm just wondering good. as a guy does it, it doesn't mean anything does it we get kind of caught up in it I think and no. I'm wondering does it actually mean I know people I know people who put up a fucking photo on Instagram and then text me saying will you please like my photo do you know what I mean and like the only reason I haven't liked it is because I haven't seen it yet but like people Jesus. are like that's why I like most of the things because like, like people want those likes okay but um yeah anyway okay Billy <laughs> have you ever DM something sexy over Twitter no Instagram have you ever flirted with someone on their Facebook wall? Yeah. No, that's so 1999. Yeah, well, you... you... <laughs> Have you ever flirted with someone over Facebook messages? Yeah. Yeah. Had a sexual conversation over Facebook? Yeah. Probably. I'm just saying, yeah, because I could be unheard. Touched yourself while looking through someone's <laughs> Facebook photos? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever mooned or flashed someone as a joke? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mooned or flash strangers in public? No. No, uh, yes, yeah. Gotten naked in public and been turned on by it? No, I've been turned on by it. I have been naked on RTE television. Fully naked? Yep. Oh. Well, you couldn't see it, but um, like I was in a comedy series years ago. I'm not naming it so people can go <coughs> googling it. It's I'll a, find it's out, an, an entire series I'll of comedy, a, a sketch show. And like one of the sketches was that like I uh, I had stolen the star of Christmas tree, and like the judges um, were high on drugs, so my punishment was like I had to s like bend over in a bathtub with a pineapple in my mouth, getting whipped with paddles naked. And oh, this went out. Yeah, I'm not making this up. This went out on Christmas Eve, and only one of my friends saw it. Oh great! And I denied it was me. A good idea. That was a good idea. Anyway. Actually, you've done some interesting work. This is I'm true. a big fan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Keep going. Have you ever had a sexual dream? Yeah. yeah. Being sexually aroused by accident? Yeah. Yeah. Being sexually aroused along with a partner? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever fantasized about your boss, teacher, or superior? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> fantasized no, but about not my current boss. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it out there. His daughter listens to his podcast. <laughs> Have you ever fantasized about your doctor? No. 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 Dr. Torrington there. Looked at pornographic magazines or photos? Yeah. yeah. Looked at a pornographic website? Yeah. Yeah. Run a pornograph. Would you ever run a pornographic website <laughs> or Tumblr? Are you offering me <laughs> a job? Are you not seeing that? That's what? Uh, no, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I've never run a pornographic website. Have you? No, okay. I no. It hasn't been something I've <laughs> just what? come across. Watched a full-length pornographic movie. Yeah. About ten minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> about ten minutes ago. Is that what he said? No, I said about ten minutes of it. <laughs> it gets boring after about ten minutes. Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> Showed shared pornography with a friend or a lover. No, you know, a lover. Watched it with a lover. Yeah. Yeah. Watched or looked at pornography with someone else physically there? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you then? I'm sorry, I keep buttoning in here. But um, <laughs> it is our podcast, so I suppose <laughs> I can. Um, is it like normal to watch porn with your girlfriend? 
I, what the? How can I answer that? Does it's that go like on? A, is that normal thing? Does you know? I mean, it depends on the relationship. It yeah. depends on the girl. I so mean, it some does girls go are on. very embarrassed about it, very prudish and stuff like that. Some girls are very adventurous. So like. I have. Have you not? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay, then maybe yeah. it's, if we both have. So, so it's all about it's you, Billy. Thing. Yeah, Billy yeah. has too. Billy so has it's normal. Two. Okay, Billy, you're flying. Yeah. Twenty-three years of age. Go on, Billy. Have you ever paid the subscription subscription for any porn magazine or site? Yeah. No. It's have you been to a strip club? Yep. Yeah. Gotten a lap dance? Yep. No. Danced at a strip club? Yep. Yeah. No, oh no, no, as a dancer, no. <laughs> like oh, dancing around near what? No, I have I, not danced at a strip club. I have a story from a strip club that I'm not going to tell because, like, it's not nice. Okay. Okay. I'll trust you. I'll tell you afterwards. Yeah. Sorry, folks, but like, it, 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 it's not a nice story. Okay. Have you ever given a lap dance? Um, no, I haven't. Yeah, I have. Like a private, like <laughs> to my boyfriend. Oh my god. This is fun. Go Have on. you ever trimmed your pubic hair? Yeah. Yeah. Shaved. <laughs> like ten minutes ago. <laughs> Shaved or waxed your pubic hair completely? Yeah. Yeah. Not completely. No. Have you ever masturbated in public? No. no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Have See, we're in a way better um, form this week. <laughs> have you ever masturbated to orgasm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why else would you <laughs> masturbate? <laughs> have you ever masturbated to orgasm more than once in a single day? Yeah. Yeah. Use a sex toy dildo or a vibrator <laughs> for masturbation. Yeah. On someone else. Yeah. <clears throat> Try to perform oral sex on yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, all the time. Here in Fit 100, we uh, we recommend not fucking trying to. What are we doing again? What's the name of this test? The Buzzfeed Purity Test. The Buzzfeed Purity oh, Test. Oh God, my, I'm actually sore. Uh, Sorry. No, I've geez. never tried to suck myself off. Have you fantasized about sex with an animal? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you fantasized about sex with yourself? No. no. <laughs> I'd love to. Oh, go on. Have you gotten turned on while taking a purity test? No. no. I've been mortified, and that's the last question. Oh, that's the last question. Yeah, that's it. No. You scored 134 out of 200. What does that mean? You're a sex explorer. A sex explorer. Oh, very good. That's okay. it. Well, thank you very much, Billy. Thank you, Billy. If this ever makes the air, and it's probably 50-50 at this stage. Say so now we're talking 9 to 10 at this stage. <laughs> we might cut this it down. This was the best episode that we've recorded yet. Oh I, have to say. I don't know if this is going uh, like, to... We'll have to listen to it back, I think. This could be like... Uh, a, a subscription job that like you have to pay to listen <laughs> to, to this so club. that uh, we can make money out of it, number one, and number two, that our families don't hear this. Okay. And if Maureen, my sister, or Eamon, my brother, if you are listening to this, well, you knew most of this anyway, it's a, but uh, sorry for disgracing the family. Okay. Oh, wow, that was fun. So. I have laughed at that <coughs> in a long time. Have you not? Oh, my God, my actual, I have pain in my side. <laughs> that was, that was brilliant. <laughs>